Okay, so we're also going to do another traveling salesman problem, and this is the practical tra traveling salesman. When we are given a scenario that's an incomplete graph, like what we have here. And so this shows the time and hours for delivery trucks to travel between five cities as shown. And so in doing this, we, in essence, we take this incomplete graph and we make a table, and by making the table, we force it to be a complete graph. So we actually look to see how all the vertices can connect in their shortest times possible. And so if we think of, and one more thing I want to add before I get into this problem is like in doing these, these are all algorithms. And so algorithms are set up to be systematic step by step without skipping any steps or short, short, shorting it uh, by shorting the process. You want to make sure you miss hit every part so you don't miss any steps along the way. So when we are going to do this one, I, from this particular table or graph, I'm going to make the table. And so it's looking for the shortest time between the cities. So A to B is 7, A to C. Now as you can see, there's no direct link from A to C. And so we want to find the shortest time to get there. Well, I can just by inspection, if I go in this path here, that's 10. If I go around here, that's going to be over 20. I can go 7 and 8 is 15. So really the shortest way is going to be 10. And so A is equal to 10. And so this is really going to be 10. And this one is 10. When I think about B, it goes from A to D. Same kind of scenario. i got to go to A to D. I think about how is the shortest way to get there. Well, this is 11 and this is 17. I could go 10 and 13 is going to be more. So again, by inspection, I can see that this here is going to be 17. So B is equal to 17. 17. And then finally, going from C to E, going from C to E, well, it looks like it's just 8 directly. But if we look a little closer, if I go around this direction, from B and then to E, that's 7. And so I know this is time and hours with delivery trucks, so maybe the road here from E to C is really bad, and it's just faster to go through B. And so C is equal to 7, because it's the shortest distance possible. So be careful on these. It's not always just the direct distance. It's the shortest distance possible. OK, so we've done A part. Now it says find the upper bounds of the shortest time to travel to all five cities starting at B. Well here, in order to do the upper bound, we're going to use the nearest neighbor al algorithm. And so I'm going to use here, and I'm starting at B. All right, so I'm going to start here. If I look across here, my first one I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose three since it's the smallest. And once I'm here, so I'm going from B to C, which I know has a weight of three. And now I'm, and I, so I have to come back to B. And so now I'm at C, I choose the smallest one, which is going to be E. I'm going to go from C to E, which is seven. And now I'm sitting here on E. My next one is going to be A. I'm going to go from E to A, which is also 7. I can scratch that out. I'm sitting on A, and so I'm going to go to D. It's the only option left. A to D is going to be 17. And then finally I go back. I'm at D. I have to go to B, so I'm going to go back and do 12. So the D to B will end up being 12. If I add these all up, I get a value of, well, 10, 24, 34, I get 46 in total is the minimum distance. So the upper bound for the shortest time starting at B is 46 hours. I believe it's in hours. Uh, hours, yes. If the driver was to follow the route for the upper bound, which cities would be visited more than once? Well, if we consider this, 
when I'm at B, I go to C. And C, I go to E. But I know the shortest distance was going through B, so it's really going to go to B to E. And from E, I go directly to A. From A, I go to D. But in order to go to D, I had to go through E first. And then that's D, and then finally I can go from D directly to B. And so I can see from here that I went through B twice, and I also went through E twice. And so if the driver was to follow the route, which cities would he visit more than once? Well, he would visit B and E. So he ends up going B here to here, up to A, back here, and as such. So he repeats this vertex and this vertex. So we're going to find the lower bound of this problem. To do so, we're going to use the delete vertex algorithm as before. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to eliminate A, and so I eliminate all the ones that are attached to it. And then I find the minimum spanning tree. And to do so, I'm going to use Prim's algorithm. I used Kruskal's in the last example, but I'll do it with Prim's. And I'm also going to do it with the table. We could do it with the graph, but I'm going to do it with the table as well. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to scratch out A, because I'm not using the vertex. And I can start at any vertex that I want to. And so I'm going to start at B. And when I go across here at B, I can see that 3 is the shortest. And I'm going to scratch out B, and I scratch out C. And so I start off with BC, which has a weight of 3. And so now I'm at B and C. I look across and go, oh, well, this one here is the next smallest. So that is BE, which is 4. I'm going to scratch out this one. And then I go, I got to look at 10, 13, and 12, and I can see that 10 is smaller than 12. That is going to be ED, which is 10. And so now I know that here I have 7. Now I have to add on, though, the 2. If I look across the A column, I want to choose the 2. And I know this was 10 and this is 17. I want to choose the smallest 2, which is going to be 7 and 7. So it's going to be plus 7 plus 7, which is equal to 14. 17 and 14 is 31, is my lower bound. And so I know the shortest wait of time between for the delivery truck is going to be between 46 hours and 31 hours. And so in thinking about doing a, the lower bound, we could do this with the graph as well, where I could have just went vertex and looked to add on, but I can also use the table here. Um, so there we go. We have the incomplete graph, which we make into a complete graph by using the table. And we go through the nearest neighbor algorithm and the delete the vertex algorithm to find our boundaries for the actual shortest delivery time.